Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to Scrappy Challenges. This week I'm using older photos in my layout. You know, the ones that you planned on scrapping for years and haven't. Well, I picked a couple out, and I have scrapped some from that day at the park, but I just haven't scrapped them. And they're of my granddaughters, and um, they're playing with a abacus at the park. And I'm using uh, mostly... L Studio or LE Studio, I'm not sure which one that is. Doodlebug Designs, Day to Day, and some Daily Flash. And great colors in this. The colors of the abacus are have red balls or beads. I guess they're beads. I guess they're giant beads. Um, and I decided to make the background a little yellow. So I'm painting some on with uh, some acrylic paint I got at Michael's. And it's a, I added some water to it. And I'm going to end up adding some more paint later in the video. And my video does get cut off at the end when I'm adding that extra paint. I had problems. Somehow or another I hit some kind of button or something on my camera. And all I had was a gray, almost white out blur. Couldn't figure out what caused it so I finally hit the reset and it went back to factory reset default settings yeah and which was to use external memory and all of a sudden it said uh, there wasn't any external internal internal not external internal memory left and so it got cut off yeah but I've got it fixed now because I figured it out, you know, <laughs> after the fact and got it set back to uh, using the memory card, but um, it is cut off at the end, but it's only like maybe one minute's worth. It's not very much. And I do have photos at the end so you can see them. And here I'm going to cut out the center of this. I thought I'd save as much as I could because I didn't know how much brown I'd be wanting and um, this has mustaches on it and I figured I'm not really needing no mustache for this layout so I was just going to use it uh, you know as a peekaboo peek border we really can't see it it just accents it a little bit and there that green I love that green green's like my favorite color and I didn't have much left of it because I'd used it on a previous layout. So to get some on here, I had to improvise and just use a little bit and have it peeking out. But her shirt's green, so I was wanting to bring some green out. And it's not much, but it's a little bit. And I'm deciding what to do here. I cut a couple of these strips with the chevron arrows and I tried to decide where I wanted them. I wanted the colors because I wanted that variety of colors that was in there. But I wasn't sure how I wanted it. Oh, and here I noticed this bobby pin. I wanted to put one of them on there since it is my granddaughter's. And I wanted to use the pink. And uh, I was afraid I'd forget. A lot of times I'll forget embellishments like that because I'm not used to putting them on there. I'm not used to having some of them. Uh, I use the same stuff quite a bit. And here I'm trying to decide how to do that border. And I finally decided to layer it and make an arrow. Uh, I thought about putting it at the top and the bottom. But I got to looking at the abacus and thinking I could kind of mimic that. So I'm cutting out these little one inch circles. And they have little tiny hearts on them, but I'm going to put those uh, clear epoxy bubbles on top, kind of make them into a flare, and I'm going to put them along the chevron uh, arrows, kind of mimicking the abacus. I know, kind of corny, but, you know, that's what I had in mind when I was doing it. And I decided not to go all the way across here. So I'm going to cut this arrow shorter, and then the top one I'm going to cut even shorter than that. And I had my first um, 
title was first thought of the title was going to be uh, play and learn because they were playing and they were learning at the same time but then I got to thinking they were calling it an abacus and so I decided to make the title what is an abacus and have as a like a subtitle play and learn and I showed the play earlier it was a wood veneer that said play and I'd even painted it yellow, but I cut that out since I'm not going to use it on the layout anyway. But since it was so big, I didn't want to use it as a subtitle. And so I'm going to put a subtitle with smaller letters. And have the play and learn on there also. And here I'm deciding how to put these. And I think, oh, I better go ahead and put my pictures down. So that I'll know exactly how much room I've got and where to put it. And... I put them a little, the air, uh, Chevron arrows a little closer to the picture that I planned because of the fact that I wanted, you know, some of the yellow to show, you know, and later I just decided to go ahead and add some more yellow paint anyway and have it come down farther. Originally, I thought about putting the Chevron at the top and the bottom, so it didn't matter. There was some showing on both sides of the picture, well, top and bottom. And after I put those arrows on there, it kind of cuts it off, so I go ahead and put it at the end. But unfortunately, the tip end of it is cut off. And here I'm deciding the placement, and I decide I need one more. Because I decided I wanted two on the top and five on the bottom. And all I did was use the ATG gun to put them down. I thought about digging out my glue dots. But these aren't very heavy. They're not near as heavy as regular flare since all they are is a card stuck in the epoxy sticker. So the ATG gun helps them stick good. And I'm trying to make them straight so the hearts are straight on there. Uh, and none of them upside down. And I would have put them over farther. But I'm going to put my title right there on the right hand side. And I didn't want it to run into the title. And these are Daily Flash. And I love these little stickers. They're kind of a pinkish red. And then they have white in the center. So that makes them show up even better. And this where I'm putting the abacus. And the question mark. And I end up knocking that question mark off in a minute. So I have to put it back on. I picked up the ATG gun and somehow caught it on my sleeve or something. And knock it off so I have to fix that and this is where I put the play and learn as the subtitle and now I'm just going to decide where to put the embellishments and that is a L or LE studio whichever one that is I'm not sure and it's a uh, I think it's a transparency and I wanted it on there since it is yellow and just kind of blend in with the yellow paint but still look like a heart and show up as a heart. And I'm just trying, trying to decide there what to put on. And I thought about that one sticker first and I think it says adventure. And then I changed my mind and decided to do the summer. And it's a little bit bigger. And I knew now I want a cloud on there. I thought about a sun but when I had to decide between the sun and the heart. I decided I wanted the heart. And it just tucks in behind there. And that's where I knock the uh, question mark off. Yeah. And that's what that little paper clip, I believe it is from Freckle Fawn, though. And I'm trying to tuck it in under there, but because of the fact that I cut the center out of that brown cardstock it's kind of sticky right there and the reason I cut the center out I wanted to save as much as I could but um, I was planning on putting the play and learn in the brown cardstock and use my die cuts but they were kind of big and so that didn't work out I thought a few ways putting the play and learn 
and here I did a pop dot on that so that it would lay smoother there because the left side was a little higher than the right side and I put a heart up there and I'm looking at this trying to decide I want that ice cream on there but I'm trying to figure out what would go with the ice cream and that was a sticker on there and it's three bows and I said I put two down there one was it went over too far and uh, so I said I cut part of it off and I thought well I could go ahead and use the other one up there on that cloud and bring that color up in that little cluster and so I fussy cut it out and it fits pretty good on the cloud just about the right size and since I like three clusters I am going to put one over there by the hooray bobby pin but first I'm going to put a tag here and this tag has a light bulb on it and you know like I did or learning something and since they are learning something I thought the light bulb would be cute and yes my ice cream is going to finally make it onto the layout and it is one of those wood I believe it's a wood chip they call it and it is a wood veneer that's been painted and that arrow came off of one of the sheets of paper it's the only cut I have on the whole page I didn't have no scrap to use or anything but I wanted a brown arrow so that was a little bit different and I'm putting it on there and I got sticker off the day to day and then the flower came off those puffy puffy stickers from Elle's, Ellie's studio and I'm just about done this is where I decide to go ahead and add the other yellow paint and like I said it's going to cut off in just a minute but you will see the other yellow paint in the end results because yeah I did get a picture of it even though it cut off but you do get to see part of it go on I was just almost done I doubt if there was a whole minute left when it cut off but I wanted to look like it just continued on down and have a little more yellow and there's my granddaughters and there's the green with the summer and there's that picture, uh, that camera, that camera's so cute. And then that one with the ice cream. I really like the ice cream. And what is an abacus? And I want to thank you all for watching. Check out the other uh, videos. I uh, will leave the channel links below. And Kay is going to be doing an older photo also. But I think a couple of the others are going to catch up on some videos. So check them out. See what they did today. And go on over to Facebook and join our Scrappy Challenges. If you don't do videos, you can still post in the Facebook page. Uh, whatever you create for the challenge. Thanks for watching. Bye.